Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a box to open. Um, this, as you can see, is an Amazon box. It is rare for me to buy knives from Amazon. In fact, I generally prefer not to, <laughs> but this is a weird case where it's a random knife I happened to spot. I didn't know it existed. If you've looked at the title already, you know this is the um, Boker Plus, oh, what is it called? I hope it says in here, it's the Birch Tree Blades design. And uh, I just happened to see one the other day. Uh, I was messaging with somebody, I think it was NebuCloud on Instagram, and he sent me a post that BJ from Hilltop Knives and Gear put up, and it was a picture of a couple of knives that he had modified using my brand new Benchmade Anthem, by the way, that I just opened up <laughs> to open this. Um, anyway, he posted a photo of some knives he had modified, a couple of CJRBs, and then there was this, what looked to me like it was a Spyderco bombshell, aka the Danger Pickle, the Birch Tree Blades <laughs> Spyderco collab, which I adore. Um, and it, But it was like a bolster lock with black G10, and I didn't know it existed. And then, it, come to find out, it was a Boker. It's a model that's been discontinued for a while. And so I did a little digging online and I found um, only a couple of places had it left. And it was like Blade HQ or Amazon. And with Amazon, I just get it a lot quicker, frankly. So I ordered this like two days ago and it's here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check it out. I, it, it's, it breaks some of my rules, <laughs> um, to say the least, in terms of like the materials for the price. I, I have to keep in mind that this is a knife that has been discontinued for a while. So it obviously came out years and years ago. I think I watched a YouTube video on it just for kicks to see like when the knife came out. I didn't watch all the way through because I'm trying to do this thing where I don't like pick up too much on what other people have said about a knife before I handle it, if I can do so. Anyway, I said the video that I saw was from like over five years ago. And so it's been out for at least that long. Anyways, it's in a Boker Plus box. It's been a while since I've gotten one of these. Uh, the only Boker I've bought recently has been the Dessert Warrior, which oddly enough is from Blade HQ, which is funny. I don't hate Blade HQ, but they're not my favorite. Anyway, um, I've gotten that knife relatively recently, but it's been a long time before that that I got a Boker. And uh, yeah, so this is older Boker packaging. I don't know if they're still doing this. It is sealed. Which is nice, the seal isn't broken. This has to have been sitting on somebody's shelf for a long time. Um, I think it's one of those things where it's like uh, sold by Amazon but fulfilled by the actual company who has these, or I don't know how that all works, but anyway, there's a little Boker warning pamphlet thing in there or something. And then look at this beast. It looks just like a bombshell in terms of its lines to me. Uh, my bombshell is still loaned out. I think Kyle has it now, because I loaned it to Kevin, and I think Kevin sent it to Kyle. So when that gets back, I'm sure I'll do kind of a comparison between them, but look at this thing. <laughs> it is like an absolutely beefed up bombshell. This thing's crazy. There's a little tool in there. Um, I don't know if Boker still does that. They didn't with the Dessert Warrior, but they used to send a little I think it's T8 on both sides, or is it T8 and T6? Yeah, it looks like it's T8 and T6. So anyways, a little tool included in there. So this is a flipper, as you can see. It's got this giant flipper tab. Look how thick that blade stock is. The whole thing is really, really thick. Um, it's a bolster lock that's got like this orange peeled look to it. I don't know if that's titanium or steel, but I'm guessing it's steel just by the overall weight of this. It's also got full steel liners. I'm thinking they're steel, I don't know. I'll have to look into it a little bit, but it's got this really nice backspacer that's kind of like really finely jimped. It almost looks like a, like a geared backspacer. Really cool. So the part of this <laughs> that was upsetting to me was that it was $150 which, okay, I, I buy knives way more expensive than that all the time. Don't get me wrong. But, I don't know if you'll see this. Look on the flipper tab. Come on. The steel on this guy is 440C. <laughs> 
which just to me, I'm not a fan of 440C personally. It is what I would absolutely consider a budget steal. Now, when this knife was introduced, was it a little more acceptable to be asking that amount of money for a knife in 440C? Probably. I wasn't really into like the hobby side of buying knives at that point like I am now, but in these days, if you announced this knife today and said it was $150 with 440C on it, it's just, I, I don't think it would fly really, but I think this is on bearings. I'm trying to see in. Let's just give it a, give it a thwack and see what happens. No, no, that's bad. Okay, so if I push button it, it's okay. But if I try to, let me light switch it again. Yeah, that's not. But push button. No, man. Oh, that's not very good. Ergo's okay. Ergo's are all right. It says it's on IKBS, so yeah, that means it's bearings. These liners are not milled out at all, which is hilarious. This thing is so heavy. It is really, truly a heavy knife. But it just, it looks like a danger pickle. And I love the danger pickle, and now I love the secant, and I just really dig Birch Tree Blades designs. And uh, I just wanted to check it out. I just felt like I needed to. The one that BJ Hill um, modified, Hilltop Knives and Gear, he put a spidey hole in it, and I think he ground the flipper tab off. So maybe that would make it better, because this detent is way too light for this flipper tab. It's just, it doesn't want to doesn't want to deploy. Maybe this is from back when you're supposed to use wrist. Um, these ergos feel so much like the bombshell, though. It's kind of like a slightly beefed up bombshell. It's way heavier, and it's bigger, but it's not, like, crazy huge. Like, this knife is not gigantic. It's definitely not small, either, but <laughs> this is hilarious. So, yeah, this was literally just a curiosity buy. This was just, like, I didn't know it existed. I found out it existed. It's from a designer I like, and it's a design that I already know I like because it looks just like a bombshell, and so I just kind of felt like I had to experience it, <laughs> and, uh, and here we are. Oh, that is bad lock stick. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll maybe it'll wear in. This knife's probably been sitting in a box for over five years, to be fair, as well. So maybe it'll loosen up a little or something. The edge on it is really sharp. That's like stupid sharp. But it's 440C, so who knows how long it'll hold that. I don't know. This is funny. Um... So yeah, this is the, oh, I didn't look up the name. What is it called? Does it say on here? Dang it. This is the, I don't know. Apparently it's just going to have to say in the, in the title. It's a birch tree design. It's made by Boker Plus. And uh, yeah, that's going to bug me that I don't remember it. I'm going to have to look it up right after I finish this. But it is massive and interesting, and it's here. So <laughs> I'll be doing a, a first impressions and a full review on it. I don't know if I'm gonna to wanna to carry this all that much. It's just so chunky and heavy, but I mean, I'll carry it a few times. I'll use it a little bit, we'll see what it's made of. I don't know what the ultimate plan for this guy will be. Um, maybe it'll end up being a, a mod project and I'll send mine to BJ as well to get a, a spidey hole put in it because that might make me like it more, but interesting. It appears to be numbered as well. There's a 1248, 1248 on the flipper tab right there so I don't know how many of these were made um, but I've got one of them one more birch tree in my collection so there you have it anyways thanks guys for watching I'll uh, see you on the next one